I am speaking today on a legacy of, of faith, a legacy of faith as we celebrate the life of our mother, Nancy Eleanor in cancer. We can hardly speak of faith without speaking of Abraham. We know Abraham as a man who became a father by faith. In Genesis 15, 5 to 6, the Bible says, He took him outside and said, Look up at the sky and count the stars, if indeed you can count them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. Abraham believed the Lord, and he credited it to him as righteousness. Abraham could just as easily have disbelieved the Lord. The promise that God was making to him was too big. This conversation was taking place between God and a man in his 80s whose wife was in her 70s. It doesn't even matter about the age, whatever age you are. If I come to you and I say you will have as many children as the stars in the sky, it's fantastic. It, it can't happen. How are you going to have that many children? And yet the Bible says that Abraham believed God. Abraham believed that the God that he said is not limited by age, that the God that he knows is not limited by biology, that his physical manifestation of infertility was not going to stop God. He believed that God can do whatever God says he will do. If God says he will do it, he definitely can do it. Abraham's life teaches us that our God is a God who has no limits. There is no limitation. He is a God who simply can. Do you believe in a God who simply can? Do you believe in a God who simply can? God can. God can. God, he can. Mommy believed in a God who can. We are gathered here to celebrate a woman we called Mommy or Grandma, our Iraba Nancy. We are here as a generation of a woman of faith. Our mom believed that God could give her the desires of her heart. From her youth, she treasured the idea of having and raising a happy family. She believed in God's ability to make her a wife and a mother. And she trusted God to make her a mother of many. That like Abraham, her children will be more than her body could produce. So we see her today as a mother to her siblings, as a mother even to the children of her friends. What mommy desired from God was family. And today we are here. Every one of us pre present represents the family God gave her just as she desired. You see Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Take delight in the Lord and he will make you and he will give you the desires of your heart. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. And mommy delighted herself in the Lord. In her hymns, in the songs, in the prayers, and the counsel that she gave so readily. In her ever ready pattern blessings, she delighted herself in the Lord. She trusted him to grant her her heart's desire. What she desired was family. And what she desired for her family, she trusted the Lord to provide. We are here today as her righteous shining reward from God. You and I are, are mom's reward from God for her faith. God rewards our faith. And that reward shines for all to see. Mommy's prayers brought a shining reward. She was a woman of faith. Can you also believe for your reward? Can we also live by faith? Romans 4.18 says, Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed, and so became the father of many nations. 
just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Abraham had no physical basis for his hope, but he hoped anyway. Oh, tell someone hope anyway. Faith can be challenged by circumstances, by time, by physical suffering. But whatever is challenging our faith, we need to hope anyway. The Bible says against all hope, Abraham in hope believed. Against all hope, when you look at the thing, there, there is no hope coming out of the situation. But Abraham still believed. Sometimes when you've gathered enough faith to act, then the circumstances change. And they become adverse to your situation. So as soon as you've gathered enough courage to start your business, Ghana's economy does what it is like, it's doing. And the city plummets. And you are looking, like Abraham, looking at his old wife. But he hoped anyway. Sometimes by the time you've gathered enough faith to move, it looks like you've waited too long. It seems to be too late. The timing is off. But what do we have to do? We must hope anyway. When you have enough faith to start, sometimes the barrier becomes your body. Sickness gets in the way. Weakness gets in the way. But the Bible says we must hope anyway. Faith presses on in spite of whatever is fighting it. Faith just keeps pushing on. Because Romans 4.24 makes us understand that Abraham was not hoping in a vacuum. Abraham was hoping because he was fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Abraham knew that God, the God that had promised him, he had the power to do what he had said he would do. And because he knew that God can and God will do what he has promised him, he was okay. He could continue to hope. And we should also be convinced that God can and God will do it for us also. You might say to me that, but God hasn't promised me anything. God hasn't appeared to me. God hasn't said to me, go outside and look at the stars. So shall your descendants be, or so shall your business be, or so shall your marriage be. God hasn't made me any promise. So what will I believe for? What will I be hoping for? What will I be trusting God for? God has told us in Psalm 37 that our godly desires, that thing that you desire in your heart, that is godly, in line with God's will, in line with God's word, in line with God's purpose, that desire in you, that is God's promise to you because he says he will give you the desires of your heart. So each person here listening to me, the promise God has made you is the desire in your heart. Your godly desire for good health is God's promise to you. Your godly desire for wealth is God's promise to you. Your godly desire for wisdom is God's promise to you. Your godly desire for a family is God's promise to you. God promises it right back to you. And he is a God who can. How God will do it is what we cannot determine. And that is not even in our purview. We don't need to try and understand, try and explain, try and know how will God do this thing that he has said. How will my descendants be as many as the stars? Abraham didn't wonder. And you and I shouldn't wonder. All we need is to know that God says he's going to do this for us. And God can do it for us. He has the power to do it. That is all. He did it for Abraham so long ago that you might feel disconnected and say, look, I know God did it for Abraham, but this was thousands of years ago. Well, what I can tell you is that God can do it for you today because mommy lived in our day. 
Mommy lived in our time and mommy received from God the godly desire she had for family. It was granted. So he did it for mommy now. So he can do it for you and I now. We can tell from mommy's life that God still gives the desires of our hearts. He responds to our heart's desire in our day. God still responds to our faith, to your faith and my faith today. Abraham believed and so became, Romans 4, 18. Our irrelevancy believed and so became. Can you and I also believe and become? Can we, the church bearers of Nancy Elena in cancer, make our lives a memorial to her? Can we, like mommy, choose to have godly desires can we like mommy present them to god in prayer can we like mommy always believe that god can and will do it because if we are able to emulate mommy in this way then we can surely like mommy also have it we can also have the desires of our heart Amen. God bless you. Our closing prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today for healing. Lord, you comfort the brokenhearted. Send us comfort by your spirit and strengthen us for the days ahead that we may live lives of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May God keep you safe from all harm. May you receive supernatural help from heaven. May he remember every gift you have given him and celebrate your sacrifices of love. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. Tell someone God can.